Numerical Reasoning Test Practice Video Tutorial Part 1 This video tutorial is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of some typical question styles that you will be encountering while taking a numerical reasoning style psychometric test. Let's take a look at question 7 on the free test number 1. This style of question gives two graphs from which to extrapolate data. Take a cursory glance at the graphs. We can see the graph on the left refers to the IT spending by the legal sector. We have three variables, IT hardware, IT software and IT consulting. I shall call these variables. A variable will describe an element of the data, something that can be used in the calculation or analysis. If you want to save some time here, we may even go straight to the question. Having looked at just the one graph, we already have context. This may be enough to start with. So let's look at the question to understand what is being asked of us here. Legal sector spending on IT hardware, IT software and IT consulting are all set to increase by the same amounts in year 6 as they did from year 4 to year 5. Assuming this is the case, what is the total legal sector spending in year 6 on these three IT areas combined? A. £75 million pounds, B. £85 million pounds, C. £95 million pounds, D. £105 million pounds, or E. £110 million pounds. What we can notice here is the three variables that we saw on the left-hand graph. We are told to calculate what the spending increase would be if the increase remained the same from year 4 to year 5. Therefore, we must calculate that specific increase. To do this, let's first start with IT hardware and look at the graph. So IT hardware is the dark blue. We can see year 4 reaches 40, and, then year f and that's the 40, and year 5 reaches 45. Therefore, this is a 5 million increase. So 45 minus 40 equals 5. We're working in millions here, which you can notice at the top of the graph. So let's go on to the next variable, IT software, the grey there. So the grey of year 4 goes to 25. For year 5 is 30. So 30 minus 25 equals 5, or 5 million increase. Last, let's look at IT consulting, the white here. So the same calculation, year 4 goes to 15 year 5 to 20, and likewise once more a 5 million increase. The question asks us to imagine what year 6 would be if this increase remained the same. Thus, let's add a 5 million increase to our year 5 figures. So IT hardware, the dark blue there, would increase from 45 plus 5 equals 50. IT software from 30 plus 5 equaling 35. And lastly, IT consulting, 20 plus 5 equals 25. So with these three figures, the question then asks us to calculate their sum. Thus, we can say 50 or 50 million plus 35 plus 25 million equals 110 million pounds. There are other ways to calculate the sum, of course, but this is but one useful approach. Therefore, our answer is E, 110 million pounds. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it's been helpful. And best of luck with your test practicing here at Assessment Day.